Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. And thank you for joining me for my episode 2022 of Satmorn Makes. Let's go ahead and jump on in. Hey y'all. Sorry I've been MIA for a while, but I appreciate y'all being patient with me yet again. Um, I told you previously that my sister was on hospice and she has since passed. So that is the reason for my absenteeism. But I've been back in the craft room off and on the last couple days. It's been it's been a process. If you've ever lost anyone, you know it's been a process. But I think I'm back. Um, I want to share a couple projects that I've made over the last week or so. I didn't have the camera on. I just sat down to just be and just use craft as therapy, which I haven't done in a while. But after I share my makes with you, then I'm going to create another video and show you a little haul from Impression Obsession and some um, cards I made with those things. So I'm going to start out small. And I was just using things in my stash. This was a piece of a um, gel plate print. And of course, he's one of the little cute little turtles from Whimsy Stamps. And I will try to remember to link everything downstairs in the description box if I'm able. But I just cute and simple, right? I added a little little piece of white paper and I just fussy cut like a, a little hill, but you can't see it once he's on there. But it's just cute. I love it. I don't do clean and simple very often. Honestly, most of the ones I'm about to share with you, for me, are very much clean and simple. But that's just kind of where, where I was. So there's him. And I'm going to set him up there. And then this is another ATC. I had this, I had the word high cut out of this gel plate print but I loved it and I decided I would just adhere it to some black cardstock and that was it. I need to get rid of this glue. It didn't quite dry clear. There's a little bit of texture and um, shine to it but yeah again just just short and sweet. Now I may end up putting these on on cards or another project but for now they're just a couple little ATCs. And again these were things that were already colored up and just sitting in my stash most of them. So I had previously shown this and several other cards that I'm going to show you today. I did these backgrounds um, for other projects and I just never got back to them. But um, I had this little piggy and these other little accoutrements that were in this same color scheme. So I thought that was perfect and just added the happy birthday. And that's it. The happy birthday was, I think it was a freebie from Whimsy Stamps. And this die is from their postage stamps dies. And um, this is actually, it was a leftover, it's a piece of fun foam that I had cut out because I needed to lift up a frame. And this particular die is from Pink Fresh Studio. And it cuts the inside scallop and then another piece with the outside scallop. And you can use them together or separately. But anyway, that's how I did this card. Again, just another sweet and simple one. I'm going to sneeze, so I apologize in advance if I'm not able to catch it. But again, this card, it's just a, just a little note card. Both of these are note card size. They're, they're small. Here is a five and a half by four and a quarter. So you can see in comparison, A2 versus a note card. And again, these things were in my stash. I had, I had cut and colored and fussy cut both of these. These are from a, I want to say it's an MFT stamp set with that very, very joyful little snowman that I showed previously. These are in that set as well. And I just thought that they went together and that it was really cute. Now, this one is a little bit different. It's again another one of those backgrounds that I used. And these pieces were just in that pile that I had cut, fussy cut, after I colored. And I liked the idea of them being on tags just to add another little element. But it feels, it feels empty. I'm not sure. I might have to add something else over here. I don't know, maybe just some tone on tone. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But this Mary and Bright is from Whimsy as well. It's from a sentiment, a Christmas sentiment stamp set. So, very cute. Now, this one is a little more, has a little more going on. But again, it's plain and simple. Now, this blue base is um, five and a half by four and a quarter. I need to fix, I need to fix that. But I cut the, the card base down a little bit because when I just had the white, it just was too naked to me. And I was processing it with my with my friend 
and just talking about what do I love on sweet and simple cards that other people make and it's the white space. So why do I struggle with white space on my own? So how can I embrace the white space on this? My solution was to put the blue on the back. I've not changed the white space. In fact, the white space pops even more and I love it. So these hexagons were cut out of a slimline, slimline panel from Whimsy Stamps again and I had created another card out of the panel with the holes cut and these were just in my stash and I thought they were super cute. And I had a completely different plan in mind. It didn't work out, but that's kind of how crafting goes. You know, you, you might start out doing one thing and it morphs into something completely different. But I had the, the papers in my stash and I matched them as, as good as I could. Added another cute little turtle from the turtle set and then of course a sweet friend and some sparkles, <laughs> some confetti there. These are from the sparkle all the way, I believe. Um, it's, is it a mix? I don't know if it's a mix or if it's just different sizes of confetti, but it's one of my absolute favorites from this Calls for Confetti. You can see the way that the light hits that, so good. And then I put another little cutie on the inside. Super cute. So there's that one. Couple more to share with you. So this is that same um, color scheme, if you will, of cardstocks you can see. And I have one more. But I was just stripping it up on that day and I, I like this white space down here. So I had the hello and you're amazing. These were from two different stamp sets. And then this of course is one of the all in create and this is as well. And then I actually used, um, it was a mix from Sparkle Blends. It was a Sparkle Blend from Doodles Paper Playground who has since gone out of business. But this was called Sparkle All, no. What was this one called? Sparkle All the Way is this Calls for Confetti. I guess it's it's moot at this point because they're no longer in business, so the mixes are no longer available, but it was one of my favorites as well. There's something about the whites and the clears that I just love. But look at the, the big bubbly heart. It's not even flat on one side, it's great. But I wanted to, I just wanted to add a little bit of something, something. So there they are. And I love these girls from Janet Klein. And same concept, same as Janet Klein as well. Got the bee, got the same little, sorry, I'm out of frame, huh? The little girl and the bee, the same color scheme. And then the same hello stamp and then friend. And the same little spark, doodles paper playground sparkle blends, yeah. So I just think they're very sweet. Aren't they cutie cutie? I left this one a little bit bigger. I used a stitch die to, to trim out the panel, and this one I used a flat edge die. This one was from either MFT or Waffle Flower, I can't remember, or maybe it's Hero Arts. Mm, I don't know. This one is from Creek Bank Creations. All right, and then I have a tag. I got super grungy grunge. <laughs> This tag was in my stash for some time. I love that I did both sides. And I wanted some, I wanted to use some paste, but when I put the paste on, it was way too white. And then this tag was also in my stash. And I, I don't know if you can see it, but I stamped the well shit over and over and over. And I feel like I, I do have that sitting right next to me. And I just stamped it all across the back and I thought it was just fun. And then I heat embossed it in clear and then I wanted some more of this on here to kind of tie them together and it just took over and I didn't put much through it I mean you can see that's not that's not a very big swath but it was too much so anyway this one I made sure it had some of this same the same colors to tie them together and then on this one I went around the edge with the um, ink pad just directly you know directly to the edges just to frame it out a bit and this is another little piggy that was just in my stash, colored and fussy cut out. And I thought he was perfect for this one. He is from MFT as well. And I still have, I still have more than this, but these are the ones that are still, still waiting for, for a project. And they will find a home. Right now they're just, they're just there and at the ready. So there's that, super cute. Yeah, I love tags. I think tags are some of my favorite. And then this is my last one. This high 
very similarly to the ATC that I made in the beginning, was just cut out of a panel. I used the letters, and then on this one I used the background, and I added it to the cardstock, which or the pattern paper, which is from Whimsy. It's another of their slimline pattern paper pads. And again, I will try to link everything downstairs. Don't hold me to it because I've got a lot going on, but I just wanted to share with you what I made. But look at that shaker. These little cups, I think, I'm not sure who I got those from. I want to say it was Twiddler's Nook, but I could be wrong. But inside I used some more of that Sparkle Blend from Doodle's Paper Playground, and I think I've used it all now. I did not use all of these little flower cups. But I thought just I thought their colors just matched that pattern paper perfectly. And of course I had to use the little turtly turtles and they're just adorable. And that's my card. I did nothing on the inside. In fact, the only one that I did anything on the inside of was was this one where I put the little turtle. So that's four of my of the five turtles that I got used. I got those two and then those two. So guys, I think that is it. I've got more going on, but for now, I'm going to stop, and I thank you for spending some time with me. Um, if you are unaware of what Saturday Morning Makes is, it is uh, pretty much an art collaborative, I believe is how Jill explains it, and Jill Norwood was the um, creator. It was her brainchild, if you will, and she started at the beginning of the pandemic, and it has just taken on a life of its own. And everyone is invited to participate, play along. If you want to share your crafty goodness, whether it's paper crafts, cooking, whatever it might be, um, we'd love to have you join us. Just use the hashtag, hashtag SatmorneMakes, and you should pull up lots of different projects. They may or may not be the most recent ones, but we also have a Facebook group, and I will definitely try to um, link that downstairs. Uh, Miss Jana is the one who um, added Saturday Morning Makes. It was actually her Facebook group, and so she very, very graciously and generously added us to her group. So it's a big group. There's lots going on, and you can see all kinds of crafty goodness over there. So again, I thank you for joining me today for Saturday Morning Makes. Um, you guys are the best. Mwah! I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Make sure you use that hashtag on whatever social media platform you're looking at so you can see other people's projects but you can always go to the Facebook group to see the most recent things and I hope to see you over there guys in the meantime if you would like subscribe and definitely leave me a comment downstairs I'll, I'll check in with you down there thanks again this is Nancy the handy scandy Mwah. I'm out